looking for your soul. Okay. This soul is a precious soul, soul. to Jesus. Come to him. Yes. Why are you playing games? I've already come to Jesus. Huh? Through the message of Muhammad. <laughs> you know, okay. Listen, okay. To, listen to the Bible. You understand? Yeah, like Jesus loves you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Jesus loves you. When you give your heart to Jesus, he will transform you. Yeah. Please. We don't hate you. We love yeah. you. You understand? Because we are talking about something which is beyond you and I. You understand? Which is salvation. So if salvation is beyond you, you know what Muhammad said in, in the Quran? Do you know what he said? This is one of... This is read the words of Jesus. What did Jesus say? I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Is it how beautiful it is? Yes. So if you think if you believe in Jesus, yes. then you have assurance of what? Uh, a gender life. Immortal life. No, mortal life. Mortal life. This life and the and next, next life. But then let's go to Muhammad. We accept Jesus as a prophet. No, no, no. See, we accept Jesus as no, a prophet. No, no, listen, listen. Jesus said, I want you to read, read it loud. Yeah. Okay. Read it loud. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. So where in the Quran Muhammad said this? He, doesn't, he said it in a different way. Which way? In his own way. Which show the me. way that he was taught by the by his vice creator. No, which way? Give me. No, but he he he. There's many many be beautiful lines from the Prophet Muhammad in terms of the Hadith that would equal the, the message of Jesus. Okay. But we're not comparing Jesus okay. and the Prophet. No, because he's no, we're not saying that Muhammad is better than Jesus. We're no, not saying no, that. No, what I'm trying to say yeah. to you. Is, we are talking, we are both talking about something which is very, very, very important. Yes. Maybe in Islam and with all these other religions around us. Yes. What we are talking about, we are talking about a salvation for your own soul. All the Imams here, the Sheikhs here, the scholars here, as much as you have a strong faith in them and their teachings, they cannot secure their own afterlife and also secure your afterlife. But the books, listen to the words of Muhammad in the Quran. What did Muhammad say? Surah chapter 46, ayah 9. What did Muhammad say? Read it. This, yeah, read it. I am not the first of the messengers and I do not know what shall be done with me or with you. I follow only what is revealed to me and I am nothing but plain warning. Yes. So how can you be certain yes. about a man who does not know his final destination yes. and he said, okay, I am going to follow that man. Yes. This is not my words. This is the words of Muhammad. He said, read it again. I am not the first of the messengers. And I, so he's already said that Jesus came before. No, no, no. He didn't. He's, read, he's read, it, read, it, read it. And I do not know what shall be done with me or with you. I follow only what is revealed to me by God and I am nothing but a plain warner. He's warning people. But when you read the other ones about Jesus, yes. Jesus, what did Jesus say? Jesus said in that previous one where you showed me, just go back. You go back. Go back. Yes. yes. I am uh, the John chapter 11, 25 yes. and 26. I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Yes. But he hasn't shown, when he says never die, what does that mean? Does that mean heaven? Does that mean live in the world? Right. That's a good question. Good question. So then Jesus is giving you and the rest of the Islamic Omar. Yes. He's calling them and saying, look, where you are, salvation is not guaranteed. Yes. You understand? What Jesus is saying, where you are, salvation is not guaranteed. But if you come into my boat, 
Yes. Salvation is guaranteed. So yes. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Before Jesus said this, yeah. he has not even gone to the cross. And he said, those who believe in me, the word those, have you in mind, have me in mind and have the rest of the people who are in the pack in mind. And those who are around the world, those who believe in me, even though they what? Die. So if you believe in those who have died in Christ, yes. they even though they have died, they have salvation. The second coming of Jesus Christ. Exactly. And we this believe in what, that. No, no, we believe in the second coming. No. You, we believe he's going to come you back. Have, you believe in the second coming, but you are, you, look, you believe in the second coming. Come here. Yes. Come here. You believe in the second coming, but you haven't secured your salvation yet. You can only secure your salvation. Do you know how you secure your Go salvation? On. Tell me. You, you, you know how you secure your salvation? Read, read, read. Re, re, re. It's pointing that way. No. It's pointing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, come. Somebody else either come no, back. No, this is a... Uh, come back somebody else. No, it's yeah. Revelation. Revelation. But it's pointing there. No. Pointing here. Pointing here. Yeah. So this is... Read this. Wonderful Jesus. He's this, inviting you to accept him as Savior. Re, read it loud. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful is Jesus. He's inviting you to accept him. What's your name? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wonderful Jesus yeah. is inviting you to do what? Accept him as a savior. Not as a prophet. Yes. So when he says you believe in him as a prophet, yes. you have weakened the position yeah. of Christ as a savior. Yes. But how do you know that the message of Muhammad is not the same as Jesus? Because, oh. because we have read the message of... It's only a few words no, different. No, what I'm saying, we have read the message of Muhammad. Yes. And when we read the Quran, yes. and we read that, we realize that the Quran, yes. Quran message is quite different from what the biblical message is. Shall I is. tell you why? No, finish reading it. Yeah, yeah, I'll finish reading it. Shall I tell you why though? No, no finish reading it. I, will finish. I want you to read it. The way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the way, way the, the truth, truth, and the, and the life. life. Yeah. Choose Jesus today. Choose Jesus, my brother. Today. Yes. today. And be saved. Heaven. He didn't and say hell. choose Muhammad. Choose Jesus choose today. Jesus today. today. And be saved. <laughs> Heaven. So if you choose Muhammad today, today you, you are not. You are still hanging in there. Yes, you will be saved. Heaven and hell is real. Right. So do you know how you how you accept Jesus? Read this. This is how you accept Jesus. Prayer to invite Jesus into your life. Prayer to invite Jesus into your life. It's as simple as prayer. Acknowledge. Read it. Acknowledge that. Jesus Acknowledge is Jesus is a son of God, not a prophet. A son of God. Okay. Believe with your heart that he died for you. Okay. Believe, because this soul is a precious soul to Jesus. Jesus. It's a precious soul. Yes. Jesus is looking for this soul. For this soul. Yep. You know why we came here? Okay. Jesus is looking for this soul. And he wants to add this soul to the list of the kingdom of God. Okay. I you understand? I understand. Okay. Then confess carry on. with your mouth. That confess Jesus is with Lord. your mouth. Say what? Confess with your mouth mm -hmm. that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is not a prophet, he's Lord. Lord. And invite. Okay, so I've got a question for you. No, finish it. Finish yeah, yeah. it first. I'll, invite I'll answer every question you have. Okay. But let's investigate okay. about this. And invite him into your heart. Yeah. I've got a question for you. Can you answer it? Please. So it says, acknowledge Jesus is the Son of God. Yes. But then it says, Jesus is the Lord. Yeah, Jesus so, is Lord. So how Jesus, can he be God and the Lord? Jesus is a man of many. Okay. See, the, you are reading a book, the Quran you are reading. Yeah. The information about Jesus is limited there. I read the Quran. Yeah. When you read the Surah chapter 19, they dedicate Surah 19 for Ma Maryam. Maryam. Yeah? Yeah, Mary. But it doesn't even say a lot about Jesus. Yeah. We are calling you back yeah. to the truth of God's word. Listen to this scripture here. Yeah. Romans chapter 9. But we already believe in Jesus as a prophet. You know that. You see, you are going set. It's a fundamental belief of a Muslim. You, you have set. to believe in Jesus. You see, Otherwise... Jesus is Lord. Okay. I've showed you from the Surah okay. 46 
verse 9, that Muhammad himself yes. said he doesn't know what Allah will do to him. Yeah. How can you be sure? Uh, Muhammad said, I do not know what Allah will do to me and yeah. you. Yeah. This is Muhammad's position. Exactly. If Muhammad doesn't know what Allah will do to him, yes. to him, yes. how sure can you be and follow him? You sure because he's still a prophet of God. He was sent after Jesus to Muhammad is, not the... The only, Muhammad is not the only prophet. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. Ask you a question. After Jesus, okay, Jesus' message has come, yeah? Jesus', Jesus message, what? message, the Bible. People have read the Bible, yeah? People are guided. How do you know that in 600 years, people never became misguided again? Oh, you see, uh, do you know why I know? Forgot the message no, of the you, Bible. Do you know why I know? Forget the message of the no, Bible. Do you know why I know? Yes. Because when Jesus was leaving the face of the earth, he said something to his disciples. What in Islam you describe as the Shahaba. Yeah. The Shahada, Shahaba yeah. of uh, Muhammad's companions. Companion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus said to them yeah. that when I go to my father, yeah. I will send in the Holy Spirit. Okay. And the Holy Spirit will teach you, yeah. it will guide you. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So the place of the Holy Spirit yeah. is to guide you and yeah. teach you the truth of God's word. Okay. So when the Holy Spirit came, Okay. Those who follow Jesus, they were not misguided. Okay. No, we don't. We don't. They we, were not misguided. Do you understand yes, that? Yes. They were not misguided. We, we knew. We accept that Jesus guided people to the right path. We accept that Jesus created the connection between people and God. But what we're saying is, over 600 years, people forgot this message. Who told you that? That's what we we believe. You can believe anything you want, but you see. I've told you from what uh, earlier of our conversation. Yep. There's a reason why there's a Supreme Court and yeah. court around. Yes. When you go to those places and you go and tell them we believe, we believe, we believe, yeah. it's a nice way of conveying a message. Okay. But they will tell you that, look, even though we, we believe this, we still want an evidence. We yep. deal with evidence here. Yep. You understand? If you take Muhammad to a Supreme Court and you take Peter to a Supreme Court yes. and for these two people to go and witness our Jesus, do you know why Peter will come as a Victoria that, uh, victorious than Muhammad? Do you know why? Because Peter yes. was an eyewitness. Okay. Muhammad was not an eyewitness of, of Jesus dead and his resurrection. Yes. So if Muhammad comes and tells you Jesus did not die, and Peter come and say to you, I was there, I went to the tube, yes. I was there, yeah? yeah? The testimony of Peter yeah. is so much rich, okay. and the evidence Peter brings on the table, it will, it will sc score higher than Muhammad. Okay, you made that point. Can a person make a mistake with his eyes, yes or no? Of course, a person can make a Muhammad, message about Jesus, understanding of Jesus, was sent by the creator of Jesus. God himself gave Muhammad the knowledge of Jesus. Okay, so, I agree with you. Yeah. But then if... if no, we, do you accept that Muhammad if, is a prophet? If we, yes or no? If we investigate with what you're saying, yeah. then we can see the, the when we begin to do search yeah. of the very claim you are providing, then he realized that there is a lot of holes within the claim because Muhammad made a statement about Jesus that he doesn't know in the physical form. When he said Jesus didn't die. Yeah. yeah. If Jesus, do you know why there's churches all over the world? Go on. Do you know why? Because of the message of Jesus. And the death and the resurrection. So if yeah. Jesus didn't die, the rose from the death, you see? There won't be any. There won't be any churches in the whole world. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. One thing you need to understand is, this. you know, in heaven, there's only one name which is authorized. It's like, you know, when you write a piece of letter. Yeah. In the last, you do your signature. Yeah. So everybody can tell this letter is coming from you. You understand? Yeah. The only name that is authorized in heaven. Yeah, it's Jesus. Let me show you. Sonia, you are blocking. 
Stand here. I want you to stand here. Stand. I want you to look. Look at this. Okay. I'm, I'm looking. I'm look, listening. Look, look at this. Yeah. Please read this very carefully. Which bit? Read from here. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 10. Please. Okay. Let me put this down. I will read the slave. Yeah, please. The humbled and exalted Christ. The humble. You see how beautiful it is. Yes. The humble and exalted Christ. Christ. Please read it. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. You see that. So Jesus, who is the form of oh God, God, did not, did not consider. He didn't say Jesus was a prophet. Okay. So when he said, we believe, you can believe anything you want, yes. but we are pointing you to the, the truth of the Jesus that we are talking about. Yes. Please carry but on. But this is not, this no. bit here is not a passage from the Bible. This is an explanation. Please go on. Okay. This so, is the Bible. This everything you are this reading. Is, no, this is the no, Bible. Not this one here. This is the explanation. No, this is Bible. Because everything you are reading, this is this is Philippians. Philippians. Chapter two. Yes. Verse number five coming down. Okay. This is part of the Bible. Yes. Okay. But made himself of no reputation, mm -hmm. taking the form of a bond servant okay. and becoming in the likeness of man. See how Jesus him in the likeness of man. Humble himself. Yeah. In likeness of man. Okay. Yeah. So he's coming in male for a um, um, human form. So now you understand that yes. God became a man. Not according a man, to this. No man became God. No man became God. But according to this, uh, God in a male form. Yes. In a man form. Okay. And coming in the likeness of men and being found in appearance as a man. That's right. So now you understand. Well, yes. From today, yeah. don't go around and tell people that yeah. uh, uh, God is uh, <laughs> a man became God. God. That's not what we are okay. saying. Okay. No man can become, become God. God. And God can took come on. The, yeah. Okay. The form. Okay. He humbled himself and he humbled became himself. obedient to the point of death. Okay. So to, to the point of death. So, uh, which is the cross? With the cross. Okay. okay. Effectively, even the death of the cross. So even when he died apparently yeah. on the cross, therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Hang on a minute. The name. So the name of Jesus is above Muhammad, isn't it? Yes. According to the text. Yes. So which one will you choose? A name which is above every name or and you see which it's, one will you choose? It's, it's subjective. So because it's this book has come before the Prophet Muhammad, it doesn't include the Prophet book? Muhammad. Which book came before this Muhammad? This book. So came this before the, book came was before. there before Muhammad yeah. shows up. Yeah, I know. So Muhammad is not included in it. No, what I'm saying is this is describing the magnitude of yes. who the person of Jesus is. Yes. You understand? Yes. So, I understand. so he said, read it again. Therefore, Therefore God, God also has highly exalted, highly exalted him, him above what? And given him the name which is above every okay. name. So that means the name of Jesus is above, above every, every prophet. Name. Above every prophet. Right? Every name. But Muhammad's not included. No, no. Above was every not. name. Yes, but Muhammad's so, not included. No, no, no. Because he never came no, down. No. Above every Muhammad name. Muhammad has not been let's, said. Let's stand on yes. above every name. Okay. Is Muhammad okay. part of the names? No. No, what I'm saying? Because above, he had, above every name. Every name. But Muhammad's name did not exist at that point. It was a new name. <laughs> Do you understand? And listen, 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 listen. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those no, on earth. No, wait, wait. Those in heaven. Of those in heaven and. Uh, Me. There's nothing there. No, it's then okay. it goes here. And of those on earth and of those under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Every what? Every tongue. Uh, tongue. Yes. So why why are you not confessing? Uh, I am not confessing because I have a new book from God. The Quran is a new book from God. You see, yeah, you brother. see, every tongue, yes. including you and me, yes. every tongue, tongue should do what? Should confess. No, no. So should if confess. you are not confessing. Yes. You can, you are, when Jesus comes, yes. you will not be where he is. And unfortunately, that's not what Jesus But I follow the teachings of Jesus. Uh, which I one follow. is that? 
uh, about like when he helped the when he helped the blind, when he helped the needy. I give money to charity. I help the needy. I help the people who need. All it. you do is follow, you follow five pillars of Islam, of Islam including that's charity. All, that's all you do. Charity. That is the uh, teaching by Muhammad. It's not the teachings of Jesus. What about Jesus when? did not. Wait, come, I'm sorry. Jesus did not introduce five five pillars. pillars. Yes. Jesus said when you pray. Our Father who art in heaven. Yes. Jesus didn't say when you pray, face Mecca. Did Jesus say that? No. Jesus said when you pray, pray to the Father, Father who is in heaven. heaven. So when we when we say you follow Jesus, you don't follow Jesus. Yeah. You follow Muhammad's teachings. Yes. But if you follow Muhammad's teachings, and you cannot be, you can't, Jesus is calling you to his kingdom. Mm -hmm. So all, all is good for you is come to Jesus' kingdom. Let me ask you a question. Okay, Jesus is sent by God, yes, to the earth, in, in men form, as a form of man, yes, we are in agreement. So, if the existence of Muhammad came, is it not, can you not understand that God has sent both Jesus and Muhammad? Let me show you. Because where did Muhammad come from then? Let me show you. No, no, why is two billion people following no, Muhammad? According to the Bible, yes. let the Bible speak. I've yes. often said, when we speak about God, yes. the Bible provides us the Bible provides us the legs to stand on. Yes. Because the Bible is a revelation of God. Yes. Even though Muslims hold on to a different view. Yes. But that it doesn't it doesn't change anything. Yes. You understand? So look at something. The reason why the Christians pay attention to Jesus not, rather than not Muhammad. Yeah, look at something. Uh, this is Luke, the Gospel according to Luke chapter 16, verse 16. Please read this for me. The Gospel according to chapter 16, read from 14, 14, 14 to 16. 16. The law, the prophets, and the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So 14. Now the Pharisees, Pharisees were lovers of money, okay. also heard all these things, and they derided him. And he said to them, You are those who justify yourselves before men, but God knows your hearts. For what is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. So you see, the Pharisees were half exalting themselves. But yes. then go to 16. Yes. So 16 says that the law and the prophets. The law. The law. Do you, know, do you understand what that means? Yes. What does that mean? Law of God. The, the, let me explain what it, the law and the what the law and the prophets okay carry on were until john the, this john was the john the baptist yes so jesus said the law and the prophet were until, until what? John. john okay since that time the kingdom of god has been preached and everyone is pressing into it we understand and, that let yes. me explain what it means the law and the prophet the moses represent the law yes and the prophet elijah represent the elijah represent the prophet yes there were many prophets but in a bible language yes. elijah represent the prophet Prophets. the law Moses represent the law. law. Elijah represent, and Jesus represent the truth. Truth. You understand? Yes. yes. The truth. So, if Jesus represent the truth, you cannot find truth any outside Jesus. So don't make a mistake. You cannot find any the truth of God outside Jesus. Okay. Because Muhammad is not a savior. Yes. Jesus is a savior. Okay. You understand? Yes. So if you need, have you gone to, uh, have you had any court case before? No. Have you gone to see your GP? Yes. Why did you go to your GP? To get help. Why? Health. So you see, the message there is what? You need somebody to save you. Yes. So okay. when we say Jesus is a savior, do you know what Jesus saved us from? Yes. Do you Salvation. Know what Salvation no, from our sins. No, from our sins. Yes. And what does Muhammad save us from? Save us from uh, eternal punishment. Save us from eternal, uh, like going on the wrong track, basically. From it, the you see, sin is a man's biggest yeah. issue. 
That is the man, the man, a man biggest issue is sin. Yes. So Jesus came from heaven yes. to save us from sin. Yes. After Jesus had done this incredible job, you understand? Yes. Our role is to accept and acknowledge what Jesus has done and not Muhammad. No, but how do you, because Muhammad came after Jesus, how can you say that Muhammad's message is not relevant to the followers of Christ? But when we, Muhammad himself said that I have not come to uh, uh, disprove the law, I've come to reaffirm the law of Jesus. Jesus himself that? in the Hadith. No, it's but in the you hadith. See, when, it's not here, when, it's in the when, Hadith. You see, when Jesus was about to leave the face I will show of the earth. No, when Jesus was about to leave the oh, face of the earth. Uh, we haven't finished it. You see, your brothers has pulled you away. I hope you know, you like engaging you with see, you. see, no? she's a wonderful lady. And I know she, I know she is uh, driving the truth of gospel. Yeah, yeah. All of you need to come home. You know come, what, jump, jump into Jesus' boat. Don't play games. Because at the end of the road, yeah, yeah. when your life here has ceased, okay. the only man, person you meet on the other side is Jesus. I have a question. Why, why do you say that? Oh, actually, okay, okay. I apologize, but I don't want to be unfair to you. These guys have been asking me if we can leave. You know what I mean? So thank you for the discussion. We're not from here, that's why, you know? No, no, no it's fine. So, it's fine. But thank you but for the discussion. Please, please. You see, before you go, yeah. when we talk about God, yeah. one thing which is very essential, God is interested in souls. God is not interested in numbers. Okay. Because okay. God, you are a soul. I am a soul. Yes, yes. He is a soul. Right. So the reason why Jesus came to die for us, yeah. where well, okay. the Quran denies. Okay. Yeah, then if I were you, I will take my time okay. and investigate very well. well that's, that's very you important. See, that's very the, important. The death of Jesus Christ, yeah. apart from the internal evidence, okay. the external evidence is there. Okay, okay. You understand? Yes. So please do do your uh, search. Absolutely. And the next Absolutely. time I'll see you. Knowledge is power. The Knowledge next time I'll see you, you acknowledge Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Okay, I can't guarantee that, brother. But what let, I can't guarantee let, let me is it was lovely talking to you. Listen. I'll take it over. Thank you, brother. I'll take it over. Appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Let's, let's talk to you all. It's all right. Tell him. Likewise. Harry. Good to see you. Good to see you. Have you found it? So the Lord bless you. Surah. I'm going to find the other one later. But Surah 1711. Praise be to Allah who has not taken unto himself a son. And they are right. The God they worship has no son. Allah is not God. And Jesus is the son of God, not of Allah. So this is your belief. Oh, this and is this, the, is the this is the Islamic surah, yeah? Yes. Jesus is the son the, of God, not Allah. But this is so, your, your look, belief. So even in your surah. No, no. This, said, is, this is a surah. This is your belief. This is Surah. Surah says, "Praise be, praise be to Allah who has not taken unto Himself a son." But this is the is, what, what this is, is this? A, this, hadith? Is some, uh, this is a Christian belief. No, no. Christian. What I'm saying yeah. is this Hadith or Quran. This is uh, this is Quran. Okay. This, so it says this. in the Quran, Surah chapter 17, 11. Ayah one one one. Yeah. Yes. It says, and they are no, no, right. No, no. This bit. The bit in the speech marks. Praise be to, to Allah, Allah who has not, not taken, taken unto himself, himself a son. son. Then when he goes further, and they are right. The gods they worship has no son. Allah is not God. That's not from the Quran though. Wait, That's their opinion. From? That's just opinion. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. It's Allah is not God and yeah. Jesus is the, the son, son of God, God not, not Allah. Allah. That's so a Christian belief. No, no, no. It's, it's comparing. Look, look, look. It says here. It says the Bible bits as well. Hebrews 1, 1, 2. The, Quran, look, the Bible says the Lord Jesus is superior to the prophets. But the Quran tells us he's just another prophet. Jesus is just another. And it says in the Quran, we make no distinction between Jesus, Moses, Muhammad. We don't make a distinction between any of them. Why? Because they come from the same creator. And who's the creator? Allah, God. God Th created all. Uh, no, who created Moses? <laughs> who created Jesus? Okay, okay, okay. I got a question. Last one. Last one before you go. If 
Moses' message was not corrupt. Why Jesus came? Uh, Moses' message is not. It's never been corrupt. No. Uh, so why the, Jesus came? Jesus came in fulfillment because the role of Jesus in our world, yeah, because of the sinful nature, the sin that was conveyed by Adam, introduced yeah. sinful nature in our world. Jesus coming. He came Read this. To, Wait, this. wait, let me finish. Jesus came to die to, uh, by the virtue of his death to reinstate human race back to God spiritually. It is very important. You is understand. Jesus' message the same as Moses' message? Yes or no? Well, what do you mean? Is it the same message? Jesus' me uh, preached message, is it the same as the message of uh, Moses? Before the we know about Jesus, uh, Jesus uh, talk about Jesus' message, what is me Moses' message? To bring the people towards God and away from disbelief, believing in idols, cows, in in, in, okay. in objects. Right. So Jesus came, yes. for, to came to fulfill the law, uh, what is written concerning him, because the the world was looking forward to a savior, and Jesus is that savior. You understand? Yes. So it's very important. You need to look into these things. Yes. You understand? What we are calling you to is this. You understand? Listen to this. This is the Quran, yeah? The, this is the Bible. In Revelation 1 5, it says, The Lord Jesus was crucified and shed his precious blood to wipe away our sins. Yes? But the Quran tells us that Jesus was not crucified at all because it says in Surah 4, verse 157, and because of their saying, we slew the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, Allah's messenger. They, but they slew him not, nor crucified him, but it appeared. So Quran has given you a verse to re refute the death the of crucifixion. Jesus. The crucifixion. That's what the, the, no, the, these are the Islamic scholars who are uh, putting some ideas together. The, the Quran to says, spread across, the, is it? The, no, the Quran says there was a crucifixion, but it appeared so onto them. Appear. It was a somebody else. Who, who is that somebody? It was another person. Who, what's his name? We don't know exactly who his name is. But no, uh, it was another so person. Are you saying the it people, was an illusion. Are you saying the people are observing the crucifixion? Of they Jesus. didn't know the person that yeah. appeared. Is that what you're no, saying? No, no, it looked like Jesus. So what I'm saying is... It looked no, like no, Jesus. Not before... They slew him, okay, not, uh, uh, not crucified okay. him, but it appeared so onto now, them. Uh, oh, wait, wait for me. Thank I'm dealing you. with the, I'm dealing with the crucifixion. I'm dealing with the crucifixion. Thank you so much. Let's, I think we've said a lot of things. Yes. But I want you to know that please do yes. your, your research. research. God yes. bless you. So Are you going now? Um, I, maybe I want to have a talk to the sister. Okay. Uh, the, the sister left. I've got one more. Hello, Fatima. Hello. Don't go. Come. It will be on me, not you. It will only be on me, not you. And the football said what? Oh, it will be on me, not her. The hiding, I don't know. Oh. Read this. Read this. Okay, that's it's nice of you too, my friend. Nice too. Are you going now? No, I'll, I'll be around. You will be around. Okay. God bless you. Okay. Please. I am not ignoring the Bible. I'm not ignoring the message of Jesus. I never have. But. Listen, I've read the Bible cover to cover. cover hey, to cover. that's what that's what every Muslim says. But the Quran is the new message of God. This is good for you, Holy Bible. Okay. Examine the evidence. Examine the evidence. Please, please okay. do that. Yes, I will Exa have a look. Examine. I will evidence. have a look at everything on this. The Lord Richard bless you, My, myself and uh, this one wonderful gentleman here. Yeah. We've had a few discussions. Yes. Uh, I don't know how the discussion started. Yes. But it started anyway. Yes. You know. So what I was trying to draw my good friend attention to is please go and check the evidence. Yes, I will check. Please. I will check. Because Jesus loves you. I will check. The Lord bless you. Yes. Have a wonderful day. You too as well. Thank you. And please don't forget to also uh, subscribe to Revelation. Revelation. Okay. No worries. Okay, thank you.